Hello everyone and welcome to White Raw vs. Beast DQD game number 3. If you have not seen the other two games, please go check those out on my channel. I know a few other uh, YouTubers are doing uh, the show match, uh, like my good friend J Money and um, HD, which has been around has been around since uh, since the Brood War days. But we are into the next game here on Newkirk Precinct, and down in our bottom left corner we have White Raw, other and Special Tactics White Raw. And, uh, I know I said last video was Special Tactics was for early beta, but it was actually all the way back to Brood War. Someone uh, mentioned that to me, so. It's great to know things. And then in the bottom right corner, we have Empire's Beastie Cutie, who is a great Terran player. He's shown us some great uh, great skill uh, in these in these past two matches. His first match was a little rough, holding up, uh, trying to hold off that Oracle, but it, uh, it was what it was. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mr. Beastie Cutie, you are doing something naughty, aren't you? He's going to be putting his barracks over here, and this is proxying his barracks. Does he have a supply depot back at home? Yes. Supply depot right here. And, um, this is... This is... Okay. Because I see the refinery coming out, you see here, refinery is in production. I'm thinking it's either going to be a proxy factory for really, really insanely fast widow mine production, but I think it's going to be a proxy reaper. That's what that's what I'm really, uh, really thinking it will be. So it's amazing when you watch these guys that know how to actually control the reaper, because all you know, all those people out on the ladder and in the two v twos and three v threes are all like, "Oh no, reapers are terrible now. They can't do anything." Well, you haven't seen a reaper until you've seen it in the hands of someone who can use it. It is great. And right, right here, he's going to be able to move in and see that, hey, there's no barracks here. It's going to kind of, um, it's going to kind of give him a hint as to say, hey, uh, there's stuff on the way, especially if you see that gas uh, without a barracks. He, he knows something's up. He knows something fishy is going to be going on. Uh, but see, that's why he's coming over here. He's like, oh, well, I guess the barracks is over here. No. And so now he knows that it's most likely a proxy barracks, especially seeing that SCV come back in. I don't even think that SCV went and scouted the base. No, it did not. So he definitely knows there's a proxy out. Here comes the first Reaper on the way. Let's see how he will use it. Now the supply looks heavily in White Raw's favor, but White Raw, he doesn't really have anything to deal with this Reaper. All he, You really need a Stalker and or the Mothership Corps to deal with it. And uh, both of those are great at dealing with them, but that is uh, that is about that. Uh, this is Zealot. You see, it takes so many shots to kill a Zealot. Oh my gosh. Uh, it is actually quite crazy how many shots it does take. But he will eventually go down there. Oh, the very nice little... You know, thing. And uh, this probe did try and get in, but is getting blocked off there with Splatty Bows. Now, Double Reaper is out. That's not what we want to look at. We want to look at this Reaper. And so here you're going to see some micro. This Reaper pro should survive. Oh no, he got a little too overextended there. And that Reaper did get picked off. He needs to be really careful with this one. Now, Reapers are interesting on this map. The reason being... Oh! Okay. Okay, Beastie, you, you got it there. Uh, the, the Reapers can only jump up right along this entire path that my mouse is going over. So... They can't jump up from here to here like they can on some maps. Uh, so it's a, a lot less surface area that that uh, can actually get in. Come on, computer, you got this. Now with the Mothership Cone and the two Stalkers here, these Reapers aren't going to do much damage. But take note, if they can go in that way, it's the only way they can exit the probes blocking this Reaper. And that's a great uh, great skill there. Uh, very nice example. So I'm uh, just going to watch this Reaper die. <laughs> kind of explodes, blood goes everywhere. That is an awesome death animation. You see these little thrusters are left uh, to just sort of decay. And has the probe found the proxy? No, he hasn't. But I think he has an idea because of where the, um, where the Reaper did come from, this, uh, this probe finally sees it flying away and the White Rail is now like, aha, let's go kill it. So he's going to go kill that. I believe we have, uh, yes, a pylon up here, but this Reaper is going to find it. He knew that he knew there was a proxy pylon somewhere, but he didn't know where. Now he has found it. 
and this pylon will go down uh, easily here. Now, what is Beastie Cutie falling? Oh boy, we're missing something big. That's yes, yes, it is a mothership core, and it is going to get hit by a widow mine here. Yep, I love the noise that makes. And uh, we saw the Reaper get decimated there. Decimation. I love that word. Um, but the widow mine, uh, another widow mine coming up. Is that in range? I don't think so. It is going to take out a stalker, though. Oh. Oh wow. There we go. So it's going to be really difficult for these stalkers to push up, uh, push up the ramp here. SCVs being pulled to repair, but they're just going to get picked off. Oh, oh no. No, he really needed that Widow Mine to stay alive. These Widow Mines are going to be the only thing keeping him alive as of right now. Um, and it stinks because White Raw is noticing every time where they're burrowed. Very nice time warp there to prevent the SCVs from moving very well. Marines and Marauders are going to walk up here, but they're not going to do anything to this amount of stalkers. White Raw expanding behind this. He has the economic lead. 29, 30 probes to 19 SCVs in... A few of those SCVs are dying here. Lowers this play to us. The Marine dying. Ooh, very nice Mothership Core kill from the Widow Mine. And here they come, marching on up. They're going to avoid this Widow Mine. Will they avoid this one, though? He's just going to go for this Platypus, and this is something so annoying. And, you know, uh, Protoss players used to not be able to do uh, really, really early aggression like this. But because of the Mothership Core, it's really enabled some early Stalker pushes to be extremely deadly. Not to mention the Proxy Barracks uh, with the Reapers did sort of put beastie behind so we're gonna actually go and look here at the units lost tab boom you see so much higher for beastie cutie about 500 higher getting cancelled there the widow mine is going to die before it even gets burrowed the workers being pulled but workers are not good against stalkers there is the gg as these stalkers kill off some of this is the game still going white raw is not leaving he is just staying in and killing everything uh, so we're going to watch this as it goes. But yeah, so that was a very great example of... Now, I know Proxy Reaper. We're going to talk a little bit about the Proxy Reaper. Wow, how long does this game keep going? There we go. White Ruff finally left. He was like, oh, oh, he quit. <laughs> uh, so Proxy Reaper. It's great against other Terrans. Uh, because one Reaper versus one Marine does win. But, you know, if they get those Marines in proper position, they scout you out really well. And they know where that Proxy is. It's difficult to deal with against Terrans, but what is really useful against is Zergs, because Zergs to really deal with Reapers, they have to get out a a spine crawler, or two uh, Ling speed, and most Zergs hate to get those out extremely fast. So that's why we see a lot more early timings um, for. And that's actually really cool the way that looks. Looks like a V right there. Um, but that is a uh, that is. That, that's why uh, Zergs, Zergs have a hard, really hard time with Proxy Reaper, because they have to get that Ling speed out early. And yes, Queens do a decent job at holding off Reapers for the most part, but I mean, to be honest, Reapers will stay alive even if the Queen's shooting them, and if you just get three or four Reapers, you can easily kill a Queen, keeping all your Reapers alive. Yes, they're going to lose health, but they do heal it back with that regeneration. So it was a great game by White Raw to... Uh, to kind of get back, uh, get back at that proxy reaper, he held it off extremely well. I don't even know how many probes he lost. Let's take a look here. He lost uh, two to the reaper and killed off a lot of reapers, as you can see here at the units lost. 750 resources lost for White Rot and 1,793 for BC Cutie. So thank you guys for watching. I am Demon Monkey. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, all that stuff will be in the link below. Thank you all. Love you all. And see you all next time.